Once upon a time, there was a kingdom full of happiness and peacefulness. The king and the queen of the kingdom had only one wish that was to have a child. That wish soon came true. They were very happy when the queen gave birth to a little princess. To celebrate the birth of the princess, they organized a big ball at the palace, and everyone was invited. Mysterious fairies in the forest were also invited, except one evil hearted fairy. In turn, the twelve fairies gave their wonderful presents to the princess by using their magic wands. The presents from the last three fairies were very special. One of the three fairies gave the princess the beauty of the world. Another fairy gave the princess happiness of all times. As the last fairy was ready to present her witch, the evil-hearted black fairy appeared. Seeing the unexpected guest at the ball, the king apologized for forgetting to invite her. However, she didn't accept it. She was very furious for not being invited. And with her evil laughter, she was going to present her evil witch to the princess. The most beautiful princess in the world will roll with love and happiness. But on her 16th birthday, just before the sunset, she will touch a needle by herself and she will be gone forever. Ha 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 ha! Right after that, she disappeared and left all people there in fear. The last fairy was the only one who could do something to change the bad curse. Then the last fairy presented her witch. I am not powerful enough to prevent the curse, but I can affect the outcome. May you not die when the curse unfolds, but go in a deep sleep and wake up with a kiss of true love. After the celebration, in order to prevent the curse from happening to protect the princess, the king ordered to collect and burn everything that had needles. went by, with the protection of the three fairies, the little princess godmothers. She grew up as the happiest and the most beautiful girl in the world. Finally came her 16th birthday. The king and the queen were still worried that the curse on their daughter would happen. So, they decided to lock up the princess in the room. And of course, the princess was not pleased with that. Suddenly, a door appeared on the wall of the room. Being curious about what was happening behind that door, she opened it and entered. She saw a woman in black sewing with her back turned to the door. It was the first time the princess saw a sewing machine. She walked closer and touched the needle. Just as the sun was setting, the black fairy's curls unfolded. With only one touch of the needle, 
the princess fell down and dozed into her eternal sleep. Her godmother dressed her up beautifully and put her on a bed full of flowers. Feeling hearted, the king and the queen ordered the three fairies to use their magic to put everyone in the castle to sleep until the princess woke up. So, started the days when the princess would be known as Sleeping Beauty. After a hundred years, a handsome prince was passing nearby and he saw the castle covered with tawny bushes. His men told him the story about the castle and the sleeping beauty. With all of his curiosity about the sleeping beauty, he decided to go in the castle. He used his sword to chop the bushes to open up the way to the castle. He opened the door and became very surprised. He saw people sleeping everywhere, even the king and the queen. He walked around and entered the room of Sleeping Beauty. Looking at her sleeping beautifully in her bed, he fell in love with her right away. Feeling overwhelmed with love, he kissed her on her forehead. At that moment, she opened her eyes and saw the handsome prince looking at her. And everyone in the castle also woke up after their hundred years of sleep. How happy the king and the queen were when they saw their daughter again. On his knee, the prince proposed the princess and she accepted. They have the most wonderful wedding ceremony that everyone had ever seen. And they lived happily ever after.